Have you ever struggled looking for the right major, looking for the right university, whether you will be in the right community, meeting the right lecturers, professors, and just having an overall uncertainty and doubt about college? Because I have. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen, back at it again. I did not just do that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm so glad that you're here. Today is actually a Sunday, and I'm so excited to film this video because I've been planning, I've been wanting to make this video for so long. I want to tell a little bit about my college story and how I got to this point where I'm basically done with university. So I really hope that this video is going to help you out. It's going to help you prepare so much before you get into college. And these are just some of my tips, my opinions, and my suggestions for you to do so that once you step into college, you're fully prepared. I want this to be a very chill video and that's why I'm, I'm actually in my room. It's been a while since I filmed in my room. It's not gonna be a food content today, but I have food in front of me. So I have here papayas. I snack on them. I don't know if you like papayas. If you guys wanna grab a snack, something to drink, something to eat while watching this video, please do go ahead because this is gonna be a very chill talking video. I'll wait for you guys. You guys can totally pause this video and yes, let's just get right into it. First of all, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Don't miss out because I post videos every single week and usually I make vlogs, food content. I used to make lifestyle, which I pretty much still kind of do, but really I make the most random content ever, but I just hope you guys can check it out and subscribe, you know, follow me. A little bit about myself, a little bit of my story my background and how I got to this point. I finished bachelor's degree like literally a month ago. So I just completed my bachelor's degree and I'll be graduating next month. But if you guys don't know, I'm actually 18 years old. You might be thinking really weird stuff, really, really weird stuff right now. Wait, what Jen, you're 18 and you're done with bachelor's degree. Long story short, I went to college when I was 15 years old. Not even kidding. I know 15 years, 15 year olds are still in high school totally, but I actually went to college when I was 15. To be honest with you guys, I did not know what I put myself into. I was 15. I had no idea what college was like. I didn't even know if I was prepared for college and I didn't know what major to take. I did not know which university to go to. Basically, I was clueless when I was 15. Like, yeah, three years ago. One thing that made me made that decision to go to college and to be prepared to go to college was because I prayed. I talk about it with God. I know this is getting a little bit more spiritual and all kind of that, but trust me, you guys, I'm the least holy person ever and that's why I seek God in that doubt I prayed I asked God what major I should take um, which school or which university I have to go to because guys I had no idea about the future I wouldn't know whether the major that I'm gonna take is something that I love whether the friends that I'll meet are the people that I love I had no idea let's just not really think about whether it's the 15 year old Jenny that goes to college but this is just a general just like college preparation tip that if you really want to make sure that the major that you take is something suitable for you is something that fits perfectly with your character and personality and your capabilities the university that you'll go to is a place where is basically for you definitely all of these things you can do when you ask God because God knows what's best for you that's first God knows the future he's the author of the story of your life thing and if you just make research and search and search and search alone without having God to help you out without asking him you're gonna get lost because the more you try the harder it gets I'm not kidding because I went through that position I did not know where to go I researched so much much in my laptop and I really didn't get any answer until the day where I talked to God about it somehow the Holy Spirit just showed me a way the Holy Spirit just gave me the path on where I should go and when I pray to God you guys this is where I just pour out everything I pour out all my doubts I pour out all the things that I desire whatever is in my heart whatever is in my thoughts like I just 
pour it out to him. I tell him everything. God really did answer all my prayers. He definitely showed me according to the right place and at the right time. Like you can totally pray anything to God, especially in terms of school. You guys have no idea what you're gonna put yourself into without his help. Like I see a lot of people end up regretting what they took, end up regretting the university that they go to, not really experiencing something that they thought they would experience. A lot of my friends also struggle with um, the majors that they take. If you're preparing yourself to go to college right now, just be open to God. Like ask his guidance in your life. Trust me, when he opens a door for you, nobody could shut. And I just want to let you know that God loves you. He is always present when you call upon his name. How do I do that, Jen? How do I talk to God? Um, give me a second. Personally, if you want to talk to God, just be in your room. Just like close the door, be in your room and pray. Really have faith that he's actually there with you and just pour it out. This might not be something that you're used to if this is something new to you. When you say his name, like when you talk and when you speak in a room, just yourself alone, his presence will be there. He's gonna show you everything that you need to know at the right place and at the right time. Even when you pray about it, even when you ask God about it, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be in a peaceful pace. Um, you're always gonna be happy. You're always gonna be joyful. There's gotta be struggle ahead of you, believe it or not, because three years of me being in college, I had a lot of struggles. Even in this doubt that you're having right now, and you're probably like questioning a lot in your head, you get really, really frustrated because you don't know. This is where God shows up. This is where God helps you. So I really, encourage every single one of you high schoolers if you're getting ready to go to college don't work on this alone you just have to believe that he's got you for me myself god did not show me the university that i had to go to a year before i went to college no he showed me during the time that i had to be prepared so it wasn't like say for example i'm 13 and then god spoke to me uh god showed me a way that in three years at 15 i'll be going to college and in this university god will not tell you like that. He's gonna tell you at the right place and at the right time. And the way God speaks to you, the way God opens up doors for you could be in many ways possible. It might not be the same like me because everyone would have different stories. Everyone would experience different ways that God talks to them. I'm not trying to say that all you do is pray and all you do is talk to God about it. For sure, not like that. God also wants you to do something while well, he works through what you do. And I just wanna let you know that God will never put you in a situation that you can't handle. Keep that in mind. So the struggles that you're facing right now is something that God is doing to make you prepared. I don't think I've told you this, but back in high school, I used to be a science stream. I take only science majors, science subjects. And then for some reason, God showed me international business as my major for my bachelor's degree. I completely had no idea what I got myself into, but I just prayed and it went smooth. It went well, everything was good, everything was fine. I, I was actually able to pass with flying colors. I did not know that I would be able to survive being a business student because I really don't know anything about business. Three years ago, God showed me something in that major. I was able to learn so, so much. I would never thought that these modules would be so important for me, would help me so much to grow in terms of my mindset, in terms of the way I think, my character, character and it's just really helping me grow and I'm really grateful that God showed me international business and God has given me international business for me to choose as my major. God showed me good friends. God showed me the best lecturers. I was able to pass with good grades. I am here now done with bachelor's degree and if I were to go back three years ago, it was definitely a progress. I stepped out of my comfort zone and God showed me ways that I would never thought he would show me. I felt like I really did grew a lot in college and I'm actually happy about my major. I was happy with my friends. I was happy with my school. I'm actually the type of person who take college majors very seriously. Like I would never want to take a major that I would end up not using in the future because I really want to make sure that the major that I take is something useful for future purposes. As what I've experienced in my community, a lot of people who have already graduated college and they're working right now, what they took in college is completely different than what they're doing right now as a worker, as an employee. And they will be telling me like, dude, like whatever you take in college, 99%, you'll end up being in a place where 
is completely different than what you actually took in college in a different field in a different aspect and it's something that is totally different from what you take i don't want that like why would i pay so much for college to study something and then at the end i won't be using it and again I don't even know my future and that's why I told God about it like I shared my thoughts about that and after that these are the things that I can't control I can't read my future can I that's where he works and I don't I still don't know what the future holds for me but I know when I fully surrender to God he's got me even as an 18 year old because every day it's a new beginning I don't know what you guys think this is my personal perspective this is my personal opinion to summarize everything, I really want you guys to experience God's love in your life and how important it is to talk to Him, how important it is to share your thoughts, to be open to Him because you have no idea how God's gonna work in your life, how God's gonna show you stuff. It's gonna be beautiful. Everything is just easy when you surrender, when you ask for His help. It will be very smooth. I'm encouraging you to pray, to ask God, to consult with Him basically because that's how I got very much prepared in college. This is a spiritual thing and I, I believe this is the most important part because I know that in college you would be prepared to do this, to prepare you know your utensils, your laptop or whatever but this is like a personal thing. It's just you between you and God. I just want you guys to know that God is always present when you call upon his name. Pray in, in your room, just like in your room alone. Just close the door and talk to him about it uh what you're struggling anyways guys i've got um my notes here i hope i won't miss out to tell you guys if you guys don't know i actually go to coventry university it's in coventry england and that's why i was able to finish in three years because universities in england or in the uk basically they offer three-year bachelor's degree and that's why i'm 18 and i'm done uh which is crazy i know everything that i have everything that i go through every major every school every friend god gave me those people and don't hesitate to call upon god's name because it probably might be new to you but guess what you could totally start now like you don't have to feel bad that you're not close with God or you don't have to feel bad. I haven't been talking to God and now I'm asking him a favor. Like, just don't hesitate. God is always present. God will always be there for you and don't be scared to talk to him. He's your father anyway. You're his kid. So what more could you ask for? And no one in this world would know you as much as God does. My story or what I went through is something that I went through. It might not be the same for you. God will answer your prayers in many different ways and you just gotta put your faith, gotta be patient. You you gotta wait and you gotta work at the same time so that's pretty much it is there anything else i need to say i actually thought of closing this video with a prayer so let's pray together dear jesus thank you so much lord for this moment whoever is listening whoever is watching this video right now i just want to pray for them lord i want i might not be able to understand i might not be able to know their struggles or their circumstances that they're facing right now but i just want to pray for them so that they will know that you are god they will know that you are father and you've got them your presence is there with them you'll be the one to show them the right major you'll be the one to show them the right university for them to take the most suitable for them and you're going to show them and you're going to speak to them in many ways possible and they're able to experience your love that is far beyond all understanding god and um we want to learn on uh, to always progress, to always grow in you, to always believe that you are God, to always surrender everything that we have, all our struggles, even in the midst of the storm, you are here with us, God. And we, we believe that your plans are so much better, your plans are ahead, and your plans are better than our plans for ourselves. And we want to fully surrender unto your hands, God. And in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, that was a wrap if you have any questions about college or if you want to ask me anything just comment down below i might be able to read uh, some of the comments and answer them for you i really hope whatever it is that i said today was um, useful for you i hope you got something out of this video yes i actually make food content most of the time i really make the most random content ever so if you like it or not just subscribe why not you can totally check out my instagram i have it here you guys can check it out and follow it if you want to. Peace out guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!